welcome to our show. On today's show, we're featuring Women on Top. And I must say, we've been waiting for two years to do this segment, and I'm so proud of the women that we're having on today's show. But first off, I want to start off by introducing my co-host, Tessa. Welcome to the show. Hello. We've been waiting a while to have you yeah. on here, hey, woman? It will so am I. Like, so yeah. am I. Well, first off, for people at home that don't know you, um, Tessa, and the Thank things you. that you do in our city, right. tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, I am I'm a three thing. Actually, I'm a mom of two little That's girls. That's right. Yeah, and that I have my own online maintenance. And that I'm all doing crap that you do on a free land. Correct. I do crap that you Client. And for me, I've been one of your clients you. as well. Thank you so much for designing my book, Thank More Than you. Good Enough. I'm so happy you gave me that. This woman right you. here. Yeah. Call her in regards to that. Um, Tessa, I must also say you've done a great job with Fashion Sign Magazine. Phenomenal yeah. job. And I hear there's a little rumor and uh, the announcement is yeah. you have rebranded and you're now standout uh, publications. Sorry. How did that come about? Yeah. Um, well, actually, well, I got down and brought you to go. The name that she done, it actually made my life, but that she ain't done. But yes. I used it down because I'm dead. So I put those two together, that she done, which was good for a while. But now I think I changed direction. It's more about hanging on creative induction. Well, I think that's always nice. It's always important to reinvent yeah. yourself as a businesswoman, exactly. really. What's yeah. your advice to viewers that might be watching that want to venture out on their own or maybe want to start their own magazine um, or company, really? What's your advice? Because you've probably had to take a lot of risk and have had to struggle to be where you are. Uh, it, every day it's a roller coaster. Don't you have one <laughs> I know, day. right? The struggle is real. You're oh hearing it from Tesla, guys. The struggle yeah. is real. And, and a lot of people give up. But yep. that, what I like, don't give up. If you have a dream, Absolutely. go for it. Absolutely. You never know if you don't try. So what happens when I only get a job? Because I'm like, that yeah. So I think to myself, I have two degrees. All degrees and two dark Oh, really? Degrees. Look yeah. at you. So I like how I put that out there. That how it came up with that shit done. Four years later, I'm still trying to get my name out there. Yes. My business mentor told me that if you want to have a good name, you don't have to spend too much at the time. Yeah. So she like pick up the name. And she said, you have to think about it like I have. You have. Yes. And I must say, well done. I like standout publications. Yes. And I will be supporting. And everyone at home, support this young woman here because yeah. she's just phenomenal. I want to add as well, I remember years ago, we were both a part of a campaign for White Cedar's I've Been Bullied campaign. How did it feel being a part of that campaign? Yeah. Well, when she asked I was like, yeah, why not? I should. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? She's always doing amazing yeah. things. Shout out to White Cedar, obviously, yeah. a friend of the show. Yeah, that's right. I, I like to inspire people. I want to show younger and older people. Just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't do anything. So I want to show them that. Absolutely. Show them that. And you have a dream, try. And if it's a it, it, it good dream, don't give up. Because I know my dream is good. It should be baby step. You can't take baby steps. It is jump, baby steps. Right? And that's the thing. Sometimes a lot of people are looking to get to where they want to be in the finish, yep. like the finish result. And it doesn't happen like that with success. That, you know, it's always the baby steps. Yeah, and I think that that's always. a very important message. Yeah. Um, just curious, being yeah. a mother, um, how has that been for you? Because... You know, you're a family woman, you make the time for that. And I was saying earlier before we started our yeah. recording of uh, the yeah. segment, um, when Tessa and I had the opportunity to work together, she was always available to me as her client. Three yeah. o'clock in the morning, I'm like, Tessa, I need this right away. <laughs> this needs to be sent, deadline. Tessa's like, I'm on it, I'm on it. Yeah. How do you do that? You never sleep. Um, uh, well, actually, <laughs> I do sleep. The okay, point. okay, so you yeah, sleep well. I need my all right, sleep. all right. Okay, I well, you look good. You I look can't good. I can't sleep if I don't have to sleep, but thank you. I am, um, I should know that. 
you think it's a lie. If I need to help you any three the wrong, it's not going to matter if I'm here down the road. She helped me climb. I must say, I'm super grateful to you, really. I am really proud of the work that you did. And um, I felt so confident in sharing this with my network, um, with the publishers. We were all really proud of your work and what you contributed to my project. And making yourself available to your clients is so vital. But one thing I've recognized from working with you is, Yes. You really work hard on building relationships with people and the clients I that you work with. Yeah. It's really important to you, hey? It's, so important. it's because a lot of people talk on the phone, but yeah. I would rather get to know the client, yes. get to know you, you yes. know, that you think different in. If you tell me when you run, I will do what you run. You know, a lot of them up to deep down, that's not my take. I want you to do that. But it's not about you, it's about the client, the pain you, so it's bit me, right? Well said, well said. So are you excited for tonight's segment? Oh, I am. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm get ready. <laughs> me and Tessa are ready. Up yeah. next, we have Connie Jacob, Artistic Director of Impact Dance and author. <laughs> Welcome back to our show. In studio, we have Connie Jacob. I got that right. Did you hear me before when I said Connie Jacob? I, I tried to add a little finesse to it, girl. A little finesse. It sounded like finesse. By the way, you look fabulous. Oh. You know red's my favorite color, and I love a little bit of lace, and that detailing is just, wow, it's on point. A statement piece. I love oh, that. Thank you. That means a lot. Okay, so for the people at home that don't know a little bit about Connie, we had an opportunity to work together, um, and also I had the opportunity to attend uh, one of your events. Tell us about Impact Dance and how that all started. Oh, so about eight years ago when I moved to Calgary, um, Oliver Reyes and I, we wanted to provide people an opportunity to perform for a cause. So we're movement with a message. So we, what we do is we produce a show based on social justice issues, mm -hmm. connect our audience with organizations that are working to solve that issue, and then now we're going to be inviting the audience to become a part of the solution. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love that. Isn't that great, Tessa? Yeah. Okay, so you're an author, you're a mother, you're a youth pastor. You know, Tessa was asking me earlier, she's curious, how do you juggle all these things, right, Tess? That's right. Oh. So, when do you start to dance? I started dancing when I was 22. Okay. Um, I had just finished college and I was actually really struggling with my weight. And I thought, I need to get healthy and I was scared to go to the gym. So I took a dance class in Vancouver where I was living and I Very fell nice. in love with it. I love dancing, although I'm not as good as you are. Mm. I've seen you in action. You know, you can pop, lock, and break. I saw you. I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> Connie's got a few moves, Tessa. She's got a few moves. Wow. Yeah. So then how did it come about where you started thinking, you know what, it's time for us to take this into, you know, a business venture? You know, it's funny. It was an accident. We never really thought that we would be producing shows in theaters or doing what we're doing. We, we actually laugh about it. Um, it was just done in churches to start. Uh, they wanted a, a message presented. We would do that for them. But now it's turned into, you know, we're on to our fourth annual show. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. How do you balance me and mom? Do your dance, uh, write me a book. Oh, so. How do you balance, honey? <laughs> Let us know the secrets for the people watching at home, because it's possible. Yes. I mean, I must say, you two are mompreneurs, and that's what okay. you guys represent. I don't have any children, no. um, so I just must say, applaud to both of you guys for doing what you're doing. <laughs> well, when I wrote my book, uh, my son, my youngest, was only three months. And at that age, they're awesome because they're just, they're sitting there. That's it. Yeah. I could never, I can't even write they're a blog walking. now. Yeah. Right? There's, <laughs> yeah. And honestly, like, um, I think I appear more busy than I am. I have a quote of two nights out a week. Yeah. And those nights are usually working or something else. And other than that, I am, I'm home. 
I, I work when my kids go to bed so that I'm not, you yeah. know, you know Tessa that. Does that. I can you co sign to that. Yeah. <laughs> Three in the morning. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, worth it. it is worth it, especially when you're doing something that you love, yes. really, right? So and and that turn off. As soon as they become a mom, they just they turn off and they forget what, what's inside. And it doesn't mean it's all or nothing. It's a little bit and. You know what? We were having a discussion earlier, Connie, and I found it um, very interesting when you shared with me how you felt that you were so focused on yourself. And when you had the intervention or something just came to you and you decided to just take a different path and you realized, you know what? It's time to stop focusing on my bubble and things that I'm doing and start giving back and giving a little bit of yourself to help making it, make a difference in either youth's lives or in your community. When did that happen? How old were you when that happened? Um, I was about 32. I actually was driving downtown and I saw this man with a homeless you know, sign and he was saying he, how broke he is and needs money. And I just had this epiphany that my line of credit is making me actually the exact same as he is. What's wow. the difference between someone who has no money and me who really has no money as well? And I thought, you know what, enough of this. That was enough to burst me out of my stat status quo and push myself to actually want to live for something a little bit beyond myself. That's amazing. Well said, hey? Yeah. Do you have another question for Connie? Yeah, I do. I would like to know <laughs> how about your intention when you wrote your book. Like, what made you think about that? You know, honestly, my, my faith, my faith in God. Yeah. You know, oh, amen, girl. Yeah. I look at, I look at my yeah. faith in Jesus, and I, and I look at the way he walked. And he was all about, you know, everyone else. And he really, truly is my example. And he's the one who truly spoke to me and, and gave me the words for that book. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. For women out there that, and men that might be watching uh, the segment today, um, what is your advice in regards to chasing after your dream and being a culture rebel? What does that mean to you? You know, every single person has a piece of the Father's heart inside of them, his DNA. And when we hide that, we hide who we are, who we really are, our identity. And so to be who we truly are is the greatest gift we can give our family, our world, and him. Well said. Well, Connie, one thing that I must say I really appreciate about you is the fact that every time you do events, it's always connected to a great cause. And I understand that you have something coming up in April. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we're going to allow choreographers in Calgary to showcase some of their newest work. Nice. And we have Very found nice. the most we're amazing location. We're going to have to make it a date, right? Oh, you need yes. to come. Yes. yes. I do. I document events. So I make me the art about that kind of stuff. Oh, then you definitely need Well, that. she's a standout publication yeah. type of girl, right? That I like that. Right. Yes. yes. To be featured, that would be awesome. That would be yeah. amazing. So we're all talk. Yes, yes, we yes, yes we for will. sure. Yeah, so, so it's April 18th. Tell us 18th. a little bit more about it and how this came about. And um, yeah, what are you guys expecting, really? What's really the goal? Well, the, the night is to show off Calgary's artists. Nice. Because we have an amazing arts community. Yes, we do. And people need to know about it. And so we want to give them a, a platform to showcase who they are in a really amazing place. It's a warehouse, but it's a decked out nice. warehouse. And then we're just going to party because we like love that. to party. I like that. A mom that can party and have a good time. And when she's rolling it's around her mini van, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love you, Connie. I love you. You're a friend of the show and you're always welcome back. By the way, if people want to connect with you, how can they connect with you? Oh, online? well, I'm on uh, Twitter yeah. at Connie Jacob, J A K A B, or uh -huh. on Instagram, Correct. Facebook. And our website is MPAC Dance, just the letter M, yeah. MPACDance.com. That's right, and I'll be at the bottom of the screen. Connie, we wish you all the best. I know you have something that you have to do. You're always a busy woman, right? You're a friend of the show. We love Thank what you. you do. Keep it up. Thank you. You're Thank truly you. an inspiring so woman. Up next, a woman that I'm happy to see in studio. We have Angelica joining us, an actress, host, and an entrepreneur. Stay tuned after the break. <laughs>
Welcome back to our show. In studio, we have Angelica Bonaparte. Welcome. Thank you. The so lady in red has arrived, hey? It's the color of the Both night. Both our guests, yeah. I know. <laughs> Connie had on a red lace shirt on earlier. Yes. Angelica, you look beautiful. Thank you. And, and so I you. must say, as a sister, I'm really proud to witness your success. You know, you are really doing it right now as an actress, as a host for Herald TV, correct? And also as an entrepreneur. What's been going on? Whew. Jeez, <laughs> woman, like, really, I'm surprised you even had time to be on the show tonight. Oh, oh, yeah, what's I know, been right? Going on? And you know Tessa, because I know you guys have worked together yeah, in the yeah. past, right? Oh, yeah. It was exciting to see you here today. <laughs> I know. It has been a long time, but we've worked wonderfully together. Um, wow. So a little bit of everything. Uh -huh. I have kind of refocused and I'm really pushing the acting thing and so I have been back and forth between here and Vancouver for Correct. the past Correct. You're represented months. by one of my former agents, um, agents yes. Kelsey Farzani yes. with Details Talent, mm -hmm. but you're also represented in Vancouver as well. Yes, by Moving Pictures Congratulations. Talent. Thank you. Thank it's you crazy. so much. It's exciting nice. and so I, I'm, I'm still with Kelsey, so I'm uh -huh. here in Details when Kelsey's I'm amazing. Oh, she's amazing. Amazing. I've known her for many years, and mm -hmm. she's a hard-working agent she really in the is. city. She really is. She called me after she had her first baby in the hospital to tell me I got a job. Oh, really? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of agent she is, right? So, and she's so supportive. I remember so when I was supportive. on the plane on my way to Entertainment Tonight uh, Canada, and she's like, I'm working at the gym. I just saw you on TV. And I'm like, thanks, Kelsey. <laughs> wow, like she's so proactive. Regardless of whatever she's doing, mm -hmm. she's always staying on point with yeah. all her clients, which yeah. is perfect. Which is what you want. Wow. Yeah. So? <laughs> So what inspired you to be an action? Well, I started acting around six or seven years old. Um, my mom had put me in a bunch of different activities to, help, to allow me to find my passion. Which is nice, actually, Which is really right? nice, and, and that's something I'm going to do for my children. Um, and I fell in love. I fell in love. I did, uh, my summers consisted of acting camps, and I did theater, and I got introduced wow. to film and television uh -huh. around at nine, ten years old, and that's where the, the film and TV shift happens. Very and nice. And how about hosting as well? By the way, you're a great host. Thank you. Not only is this woman fabulous <laughs> to look at, but she is smart. Well, thank and you. you just, I love how you carry yourself with so much class and respect, that. and you're just a, a woman with so much dignity. I love it. How thank did you. you get into hosting? For Herald TV. Well, I so I acted throughout my youth. Uh -huh. Took a little hiatus. Went to UC. Got my degree. Did all that stuff. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, when I started working, I, I missed it. I missed it so much. And so I, that's when I signed with Kelsey. Yeah. And shortly after, I got the job with Herald TV. And yes. so it was. It's wonderful. We basically will go into a business and do a small episode featuring a local business. That's right. Yeah. Yes, I've had the opportunity to watch it. Well done, and your style is just on point as usual. <laughs> I mean, oh, I keep you. talking about this girl's I'm fashion, you, but so. you know, I, I love red, obviously, and you just look phenomenal. Thank you. Doesn't she? Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Women on top. Women on top. Yeah. You should literally. Like, you should be a guest on the show tonight. <laughs> you are, I can take over my hosting cute. duties. <laughs> Actually, that's true. She is a host. Yeah. You know what? Here we go. Let's just, let's just switch it over right now. <laughs> um, Tessa was curious yeah. in regards um, to... I would like to know how do you uh, inspire younger people mm -hmm. to become an action? Because I know it's very hard mm -hmm. to put yeah. into the induction. So what do you think for that? It is, it is a difficult industry. Yeah. and I know, right? Competition yeah. oh. is... No joke, no, right? It's a lot of hard wow. work. And I think the biggest thing is, is we live in the society of instant gratification. And if anything, everyone needs to remember that you do not give up. You know, you are going to get shut down. Absolutely. You are going and that's to, what you were also talking yes, about earlier. You're going Tessa. to experience Absolutely. rejection. Exactly. And rejection is constant, especially yes. when you're going to so many castings. I mean, I get rejected a lot. People don't believe that. Just because I have this talk show <laughs> does not mean I don't get rejected. There's many things that I do, and I get rejected on the constant, girl. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And so do not be discouraged. I think that's number one. It's an important Keep message. Keep working for yeah. it. If you are passionate about it, if you yeah. love it, totally. If it's what you should be doing and what you should be offering, 
this planet, then you need to keep going. Yeah, keep absolutely. going. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think about how how Bonga and how how different from the other LA Hollywood? Alberta and Vancouver or Alberta in general? Yeah, like I'm handing out the day it's smaller feel the yes. How is it do different? You? It is different. Yeah. Uh, in Alberta we don't have a studio. So a lot of a lot of what we film is based on our geography. So we film a lot of westerns, uh -huh. a lot of period pieces, like Heartland, Heartland stuff, Helen a lot of cowboy Leo. things, right? A lot of cowboy I mean. things that I'm not really gonna work for. <laughs> 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 Um, so Vancouver, Vancouver is actually the busiest it's ever been in history in film and television. Yeah. Yes, That's amazing. and so the, uh, there are a lot of American productions up there with the dollar not shifting in our favor right now. It actually is in the film industry because a lot of American production companies are coming up to Vancouver, are coming That's to right. Toronto. That's what I'm yes, and so <laughs> yes, absolutely, yeah. it's, it's wonderful. Oh, so we're moving to Vancouver. Vancouver's Come on. Next. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Calgary. <laughs> they call it Hollywood North, and, and it really is. It's growing, and the industry out there is booming. Well, good for you. Thank you. I'm really, Angelica, with everything that you do and everything that you juggle, uh, it's lovely that you still have a smile on your face because you have a lot on the go. Um, I understand that um, with Sugar String Swimwear, you guys are rebranding. Tell us a little bit about how that change came about. Well, well we you guys haven't announced it yet, no, but no, you guys are looking to shifting things a little bit. A little bit, yes. Yeah. Um, so just with me out in Vancouver and uh -huh. just kind of refocus things yeah. and so we still do have our sugar strings for those of you that do know um, sugar strings swimwear we still have sugar strings swimwear up on Facebook and you guys and have like shift. amazing clientele as well I must say you know um, the bodybuilders you know the girls with the yeah. hot bodies you guys got great models as well oh, and yes. um, a lot of celebrities that you guys work with as well so you guys custom make these um, swimwear yes which is great we do you have some for curvy everything. women as well oh we do we got all right everyone. okay girl okay yeah. all right we'll have to hook me up okay yeah. all right Absolutely. very nice what's your message before we end um, to people that want to get involved in the entertainment industry maybe you know get involved in either hosting or acting um, or just want to be Angelica <laughs> <laughs> um, well as I said before work hard at it find that thing whether it be in the media industry or wherever it is that really makes you happy and you are Absolutely. passionate about and and go for it work Absolutely. hard follow your dreams i love that we are lucky to live in a time and I in a place that. where we can follow our dreams and yeah. we can do what we want to do well said amanda so, amanda um <laughs> amanda was telling me this earlier um backstage um one of our girls that it is really important to also surround yourself with people who believe in you Absolutely. and push you and i mean i know that you have your agents that have your back and I support do. you as well right and i have a remarkable support system i love my that. family oh my goodness my family um, I, I was raised by my mother, a single mother, and my grandmother, and they were. I love that. They are strong women. We're and strong women. Are strong on women. Top. They we wish absolutely. you all the best, Angelica. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you. Up next, we have a live performance by gospel group Restoration.
victorious. I am victorious through Jesus Christ, my Lord. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious through Jesus Christ, my Lord. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious through Jesus Christ, my Lord. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Oh, 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 I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion through Jesus Christ, my Lord. I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion through Jesus Christ, my Lord. I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion through Jesus Christ, my Lord. I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Oh, 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 Through Jesus Christ, my Lord.